cooking with Amy. Let's get cooking. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful holiday and a great new year. Now, for a lot of us, it's back to work, vacation over, back to school. Ireland went back to school today. But we do have something to look forward to big Packers game on Saturday night. And so excited about that. I'm sure you are too. So, what is on the menu? We're having people over. And if you're doing the same thing, I like to wow everybody and, and do something really fun. So, why not do something different with brats? Um, do my brat grinder sandwiches. They are fantastic. One of the recipes in my cookbook, my latest cookbook, and they're just so easy to make. I started out sauteing some onions, and then I thought we'd stick with the green and gold theme and do some green and gold peppers. You know, everything should be green and gold, right? And I'm just going to saute those up quick with a little salt and pepper. Now, your brats. You can buy pre-cooked brats and just, you know, warm them up quick in your saute pan or throw them on the grill. Or this is also a great recipe if you um, are have leftover brats and you're wondering what to do with leftover brats. If you're doing brats the regular way for the game day, uh, a couple of days down the road, turn them into these brat grinder sandwiches. So went to festival and picked up some really nice, um, you know, bakery hard rolls or uh, sub rolls, and then I've just got half of a cup of mayo and three tablespoons of a spicy or a German mustard. So I'm going to mix the mayo and mustard together and that's going to be the spread for these grinders. Now what I like about these for game day is I don't want to be in the kitchen on Saturday night. So this is something that I can have these brats all grilled and sliced ahead of time and even have the peppers all sauteed. And I don't want to overcook those. I still want them to be a little bit we're going to take them off the heat. Uh, tender crisp is the word because we're going to bake these sandwiches in the oven. So even if you're going to the game, these are fabulous for a tailgate if you're lucky enough to have tickets to that game. So because you can, I'll show you, get them all ready ahead of time and just throw them on the grill or even take them in like a roaster already done. So lots of this nice spread. This is that mayo mustard spread on my sub rolls. And then you just basically start loading these sandwiches up. So what I, you can do is do them on a large cookie sheet, line the sheet with foil, and then get a bunch of sandwiches all ready to roll and then pop them in the oven right before um, kickoff. Or you can wrap the, the sandwiches individually in foil and as I said, uh, bake them or throw them on the grill that way to warm. So here are my pre-cooked brats or pre-grilled brats. Then I take some of the green and gold peppers And these are messy and they're kind of remind me of, you know, like a Philly steak sandwich, but instead of the, of the steak, we're using, you know, Wisconsin favorite brats. And then we just take some provolone cheese and get that in there. And then into the oven this goes. I love to serve this with a, a German potato salad or pasta salad. You know, hit the deli and pick up some of the, the other great side dishes. And you just bake these in the oven or, as I said, throw them on the grill to warm them. And they are so good. The cheese gets all ooey and gooey and melty. The, the sub roll gets all toasted. And these, let me tell you, are a winner. My brat grinders, you can get the recipe on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. It's going to be a great game. Go Pack Go. Lots of great recipes on uh, the weekend, too. You know me, I'm always cooking. Sunday on Good Day Wisconsin, I'm making one of my favorites for this time of year. It's a quick and easy chili. The secret ingredient, ranch. Yeah, a little ranch dressing mix in there. Living with Amy today, all about healthy recipes for the new year and uh, lots of great game day recipes later in the week on Living with Amy, too. So Pete and Rachel will be right back. Stay with us.